Many of our patients are prescribed topical corticosteroids for clinical indications such as anti-cancer therapy induced rashes, hand foot skin reactions, puritis, photosensitivity, and symptomatic scars. Topical corticosteroids generally carry an excellent safety record and have been in use for about 50 years. For example, topical hydrocortisone, which is a low potency corticosteroid, can be used on the face and topical triamcinolone to the body for up to two months. However, it is important to monitor and evaluate the patient when prescribing these types of medications. Patients should be educated on general indications for prescribing topical steroids such as decreasing inflammation, immunosuppressive, vasoconstrictive, and antiproliferative therapy. Typical frequency of topical steroids are twice a day for two to four weeks with one week of rest to prevent tachyphylaxis. A high potent steroid such as clobetazole should not be used more than 45 to 60 grams per week. And if the patient finds that they are using more than this, they should be encouraged to call their dermatologist's office to reevaluate. Topical steroids work best on inflamed, desquamated, thin, and hydrated skin. Potency of topical steroid and avoidance of use in intertriginous areas should be explained upon the start of therapy. Local application site side effects are, but not limited to, burning, stinging, itching, cracking of the skin, fissuring of the skin, dryness, erythema, irritation, or a papular rash. Prolonged use can cause skin atrophy, telangiectasias, striae, hypertrichosis, and pigmentation changes. Patients' allergies in their medication list should be reviewed, and allergic reactions to topical steroids and signs and symptoms of infection should be reported to the office. Unless indicated in the treatment plan, the patient should be instructed to avoid applying occlusive dressings as this may increase percutaneous absorption.